right, today I'm going to be inserting a Foley catheter. Um, the first thing that I'm going to do is review the physician's order and it says to insert a Foley catheter. Now I'm going to go into my patient's room. I'm going to knock on the door, provide privacy. Now I'm going to perform hand hygiene and now I'm going to introduce myself. Good evening, my name is Destiny. I'll be your student nurse for today. Um, if you will, tell me your name and date of birth, please. Okay, thank you. All right, today I'm going to be inserting a Foley catheter. Um, if you, it's a very invasive procedure. So if you will, just be as still as possible for me. All right, now I'm going to raise the bed to a comfortable working height. Now I'm going to lower the rail. And now I'm going to see if my patient needs any period care. And she does not need any period care. All right, now I'm going to position my patient. And I'm going to cover her legs so that um, she's comfortable. And I'm going to make sure to tuck it so that it doesn't get in the way of my field, so it doesn't contaminate it. Alright, now at this point, I'm going to go ahead and expose my patient. And now I'm going to open my catheter kit. But before I do that, I'm going to perform hand hygiene. Alright. And I'm going to fold this down so that I can use this to throw stuff away. Okay. And I don't need this. I'm just going to discard a bit. And now I'm going to. Staying within my one inch border. Okay, now I'm going to don on my sterile gloves. Now I'm going to get rid of this. Okay. Now I'm going to set down my um, sterile field in the middle of the bed. All right. We're making sure that the shiny side is down. Okay. Same with this one. I'm going to make sure that the shiny side is down. Okay. Now I'm going to discard of this because I do not need it. I'm going to get rid of this hydrogen peroxide because I don't need it either. Okay. Now I'm going to set up my field. I'm going to open my eye down and I'm going to pour it into the tray. I don't need that either. Okay. Alright. I'm going to discard that. Now I'm going to pour my lubricant into the tray. Okay. Discard that. Okay. 
and I'm going to move my stereo stick, well, the tray into the center of the bed. All right. All right. So now I'm going to inflate the catheter to see if the balloon is intact. And it is intact. Okay. Now I'm going to remove this cover. And I'm going to discard it back for this. Okay, now I'm going to put the catheter into the loop. Uh, make sure it's lubricated at least two to four inches. Okay. Now I'm going to clean the um, labia. I'm going to hold the labia. And now I'm going to get a cotton ball, dip it in the iodine. I'm going to clean to the side furthest from me. Going up and then down. All right. Now I'm going to clean the side closest to me. Okay. Now I'm going to clean in the middle where the meat is. Okay. Now I'm going to get rid of that. Okay, now I'm going to insert my catheter. And for a woman, it should go at least um, two to four inches. And for a male, it should be four to six inches. All right, I'm going to insert and making sure not to touch with the other glove. Okay, now I see the urine. Now I'm going to push a little more. All right, now I'm going to inflate the balloon. to see if it's secure and it is all right now I'm going to hold that hold the catheter with the other hand now I'm going to take this off and now I am going to um, remove my gloves now I'm going to Get some tape so that I can um so that I can attach the um catheter to her leg. Don't have my disposable gloves. Now I'm going to secure this to her leg, but I'm going to make sure that there's enough room for her to move. Okay, now I'm going to take the bag and I'm going to put it on the bed rail and not the bed frame not the bed rail and i'm going to make sure that there is urine in the bag okay 
All right, now I'm going to clean up all of this mess and remove my gloves. I'm going to make sure that the patient is comfortable. And I will dispose of that in the um, linen bin. All Now I'm going to put the bed rail back up. I'm going to lower the bed. I'm gonna make sure that the patient is comfortable. I'm going to raise the head of the bed. Okay, Ms. Johnson, um, how do you feel after that procedure? Are you, yeah, do you feel any pain? The patient stated that she had, she feels no pain. Um, now I'm going, so the um, procedure went successfully. All right, now I'm going to dispose of all of this. And I'm going to perform hand hygiene and I will document accordingly the intake and output.